subscribe. There is a lot of abuse in the church. There's a lot of abuse. I don't subscribe to it. I am against it. If you look at my way of life, it's a very simple way of life. Uh, there's a lot of abuse. The uh, uh, people have been manipulated. Uh, people have taken uh, what belonged to God, uh, appropriated it for themselves, and enriched themselves at the expense of God and at the expense of integrity. I don't subscribe to that. Okay. If there's a problem, but we cannot throw the baby out with the bathwater. That doesn't mean tithing is not of God. That doesn't mean giving is not of God. The challenge is what the men of God do with it and what they and how they abuse it. And that is part of the excess of the Pentecostal uh, charismatic movement because we the charismatic movement has emphasized gifting rather than character. And the Pentecostal uh, 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 movement brought a prosperity gospel that has been perverted and therefore abused because it has gone to an extreme. Prosperity is not about man, in my opinion, and from my little knowledge of the word of God, prosperity is not about one's uh, ambition to aggrandize and accessorize himself with the abundance of things. That's not what God calls prosperity. Prosperity actually in the Greek means a journey. I'm going from Lagos to Ibano. Along the way, God will provide the fuel. God will provide the logistical support to, uh, to arrive at the destination. That's the original meaning of prosperity in the Bible. So there has been a lot of abuse and we have taken, and I apologize for us men of God, because we have taken concepts and we have abused them because we have used those concepts to justify our desire for accessories to find status in a world that God has condemned. And when we do that, it's because there is a lack of understanding of your redemptive identity. And when you don't understand your identity, you find it difficult to accept yourself. So you look to things to enhance your status so that you have self-acceptance from a world that God has said, Friendship with the world is enmity against God. All right. That's my stand. 